How's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to yet another legend review in Ultimate Team. Today guys, we're going to be looking at one of the probably worst legends in Ultimate Team. He definitely is one of the cheapest, coming in at 100,000 coins at least. He is that price at the time of making this video. Whether you're watching this somewhere down the line, his price may have risen. It might have decreased by then, I don't know. Uh, but right now, he is actually the cheapest legend available on Ultimate Team team is he worth the coins well this is why i'm making this video and this is why you guys are probably watching this video when it comes to stats for a center back he's not got the best stats i mean 66 pace starting off is a very very low pace stat to have in my opinion i like my center backs to be faster than that basically i mean he does have an 87 defending stat which is a very very nice stat to have but just because he's got one good stat doesn't make him a beastly centre back. Let's have a look at his in-game stats just to see what they are like. He's got 83 head in accuracy, 88 marking, 87 penalties, 88 slide tackle, 93 slide in tackle, uh, 88 slide in tackle, 93 stand in tackle. Sorry, 92 reactions, 84 aggression, 96 interceptions. So he does have some decent stats, guys. I'm not gonna lie. But he doesn't play that well on the pitch. I mean, he didn't play that well for me. Let's go through some of his pluses and his minuses, guys. There's not that many pluses, I'm not going to lie to you. He's got decent passing for a centre-back, which is a big surprise that I found because I went into the games not knowing what he was going to be like. I wasn't really expecting much. Um, but to see that he could pass the ball easily, it did put a bit of a smile on my face, you know? Because it's not something that I expected. He's got very, very good positioning. Now, for a centre-back, his work rates are pretty decent. He's got high defensive and medium attacking, meaning he's always back. He does occasionally uh, move up the pitch, but honestly, I didn't really notice him out of position at all, you know? And his sliding tackling is very good as well. His standing tackling wasn't the greatest because his strength really is bad. So, you know, running up to, against to, some, running up to someone uh, and pressing the B button, trying to take the ball off them, it won't really work because he's not that strong, you know, so he hasn't got the capability to shrug them off the ball, you know. That's all the pluses that I found with him, guys. Some of his minuses, uh, his heading is weak and is always inaccurate. He really is poor in the air. Every time he got his head to the ball, there was hardly any power behind him. And it never challenged the keeper or it went wide, basically. So, bottom line, he is kind of terrible in the air. And that's one of the things that you want in your centre-back. You want them to be good in the air. And De Boer, unfortunately, does not bring that to the pitch. He is only like 5 foot 10 as well. So, he's not very tall uh, for what you would like a centre-back to be. Uh, he's got very bad pace for a centre-back. 66 pace on the card. Me, personally, I like my centre-backs to be a lot quicker than that. But if you like your centre-back, backs to have 66 pace for some reason then obviously you will probably like him a lot more than I did he's very very weak his strength and aggression stats are very low meaning he's not going to be able to shrug people off the ball which is again what you want your center backs to do um, so you know obviously that's one big downside his dribbling and ball control and his shooting is terrible but obviously for a center back that's not exactly what you're looking for he did actually score a pretty decent skill goal for me well when I say skill goal all he done was step overs but for a center back that's actually a pretty decent skill goal and the last weakness I got guys is he is pretty short for a center back he is only five foot ten uh, but if you're like me which is pretty much every one of you you like your center backs to be at least six foot meaning you know they're a bit strong Stronger and they're better in the air so his left on the left hand side of the screen are his strengths which is only bloody three of them his weaknesses are on the right hand side which really do outweigh them do I think he's worth it? Honestly, guys, I've got to say maybe. If you're buying him for a Netherlands team, then I've got to say yes, because he is definitely capable of doing a good job in a Netherlands team. Because Nether when it comes to Netherlands and Ultimate Team, the defence is pretty terrible. But if you, if you want to buy him for a team where you could easily replace him with another player that will have full chemistry, then I recommend you buy the other player. Because De Boer is... A centre-back that I would only recommend if you have to 
use him basically if you find yourself in the situation where you need a dutch center back then probably pick him up maybe pick up Rijkaard instead but if you want to try out De Boer, then obviously by all means pick him up you might enjoy using him but for me personally he just didn't suit my style of play he's too slow he's too weak he's too short and I just did not enjoy him as much as I would want him to I really didn't expect anything going into the review because he is one of the worst looking legends and I honestly didn't expect anything. He didn't really perform to the standards that I wanted him to. Therefore, I gotta say, he's a bit of a waste, even though he is one of the cheapest legends, in my opinion. So that's gonna finalize my final thoughts and review of the legend, Deboa. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did enjoy, a like is always greatly appreciated, and hit the subscribe button today if you haven't already. And as always, from me, guys, please take care, and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.